There's a growing culture amongst gardeners where we grow edibles and ornamental plants without soil. Yes, you heard me correctly, without soil. So how on earth does the plant stand up and, and how does it get its nutrients from where? Well guys, growing soilless is essentially what we call hydroponics. And with hydroponics, we can have complete control over what we feed the plant. And this is where a balanced plant food is essential. And this is NutriFeed. NutriFeed is a specially formulated, concentrated, water-soluble, balanced fertilizer. It contains all the essential macro and micro elements for healthy plant growth. 6.5% of this doy pack is nitrogen. Nitrogen, powerhouse of the plant, engine room, producing good, green, healthy leaves, which is important for chlorophyll production. Phosphorus, which is the P, 2.7%, which is important for root production. And potassium, which is the K, is 13%. Now you can see that's quite high, which is important because that gives you the right nutrition for flowers and after flowers comes fruit. 7% of this is calcium, which is needed for the production of plant tissues. And this enables plants to grow better. Magnesium, 2.2%. This is the powerhouse behind photosynthesis. Without it, plants cannot capture the sun's rays and sun's rays needed for photosynthesis. 7.5% of sulfur um, is a natural structural component of amino acids that form proteins, which are needed to activate certain enzymes and vitamins in the plant. Added into this is iron, which helps with photosynthesis and chlorophyll synthesis, which all has a major effect on crop yields. Manganese is a micronutrient, which is essential for plant growth and development. Boron increases flower production and also helps to improve fruit retention. What does that mean? It means that the fruit doesn't drop off the plant. Zinc, which is super important because it helps the plant withstand extreme cold temperatures. Copper, another micronutrient, which aids in chlorophyll and seed production. And molybdenum, which is an essential component in two enzymes that convert nitrate into nitrite, which is a toxic form of nitrogen, and then into ammonia before it is used to synthesize amino acids within the plant. NutriFeed is an extremely versatile, water-soluble solution, meaning it's readily absorbed by the plant and can either be applied as a foliar feed or as a drench directly to the roots. To use as a hydroponic soilless feed, one part NutriFeed to 500 parts of water. So in other words, one kg of NutriFeed into 500 liters of water. If you're not working in such huge dimensions of water and volumes of water, then basically it's 10 grams of NutriFeed into five liters of water. Stir this well, and ideally you want to leave it overnight so that it can fully dissolve. Let me show you how it's done. So folks, this has been standing overnight, five liters of water, five grams of NutriFeed. And basically five grams is half of one of these little measuring guys. Pop it in here, stir it well. And the reason I want to do this is to show you on such a small scale how hydroponics can be done in your garden. Now, you will notice there's a bit of sediment left at the bottom here. Don't worry about that. That will never dissolve. What is important, it's settled overnight and we have got a mixture that is full of nutrition. Let's show you how easy it is. Now, here's a little tray of tzatzoi, which is a beautiful Asian green. What we want to do, because it's a soilless medium, we're basically gonna take one of our little plants in its six pack, and we're gonna dunk it into this bucket of water, swish it around, and we're gonna get the soil off it. Right, nice, look at that. All that soil is off, and you can see the beautiful white roots. And now all you're gonna need is a bit of polystyrene. And you can find this anywhere, you don't even have to buy it. 
And what we're going to do now is we are going to make a little hole in here. A little hole that's basically going to house this little plant. That should do. And all we now do is we take these lovely little roots and we're going to feed the roots through here. And then we take this little guy as is. And there we have hydroponics at home. Guys, if you want this guy to stand up a bit more, you can always put a wee bit of gravel around there. But as soon as this plant starts acclimatizing and you put it out into the sun where chlorophyll and all those good things can start happening, well then the plant just grows. And that is as complicated or as easy that hydroponics can be. What I would recommend that you do is once a week, you're gonna empty this water out, replace it, and watch it grow. Another thing that I would recommend whilst we're there is to add a bit of kelpak to it. We all know that kelpak is derived from the sea bamboo. This is an organic seaweed concentrate. We know seaweed has loads of nutrition. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna add in a wee bit into here. And when I say a wee bit, probably 10 mils into this five liters. And all that's gonna do is just give it a little bit of extra nutrition and add a bit of an organic element to it. Well, folks, that is the simplest form of hydroponics. Of course, if you want to read more about this, there is loads of info available. But as a nutritional feed, NutriFeed works like a bomb. NutriFeed can also be used as a traditional plant food, which means it can be applied either dry around the plants, or it can be diluted as a drench into the soil or as a foliar feed sprayed onto the plants. When used with seedlings, in other words, with your young seeds that have just germinated, NutriFeed will help boost seedling growth and reduce seedling mortality. But very importantly, you must only use a half strength for very recently germinated seeds. Speaking of germinating, guys, here is a quick tip on how to kind of get the NutriFeed in there. Um, way before your seeds even know there's something available for them to use to grow. All I want you to do is the following. So folks, you all know that my go-to for germinating any seeds, as we see over here, is palm peat. This stuff rocks. Now, what we're gonna do is exactly the same as we normally open up and we're gonna pop it into this container, but we Four, before we add the water, which is going to uncrumble this block, which has now been squashed, we are going to add in a half strength amount of NutriFeed. Half strength would be two and a half grams into five liters. Pop it in there. A good stir. Carry on as per usual with the palm peat. Well, there you go, folks. A very versatile plant food, full of macro, full of micronutrients, NutriFeed, which can be used in so many different ways. Remember, every plant food needs to be used according to the instructions. If it says once every two weeks, if it says once every five days, in order for this to perform, you have to follow the instructions. If you do this, I know that you will have a great garden, which in turn gives you great plants, which makes you a happy gardener.